Their reactions from onlookers of these men rocking and then rolling a concrete speed barrier. As the act is committed in the Grove neighborhood, you can see cars and pedestrians are still out as the men try to roll the 1800 pound ball. I hope the people there don't do it, stop doing it, and nobody gets hurt. These traffic calming devices have been a point of contention since the city started installing them in various neighborhoods. News 4 found this barrier was installed 14 years ago. The city suspects it was hit by a car, causing it to become loose. I certainly haven't seen it here. Those who live in the Compton Heights area tell us their recently installed concrete barriers are having similar issues. The city put them in as a part of a traffic calming study. We spotted this city crew out picking up unsecured barriers. I can imagine in some other places where if a ball has been hit by a car and has been loosened on its moorings, that maybe some young people feeling strong might try to see if they can roll a big heavy cement ball down the street. B.J. Fullenkamp lives at one of the Compton intersections and says he's seen both the positive and negative impacts on these traffic calming devices. One wouldn't normally think you would have to go around inspecting a heavy cement ball that size very often. Since the pilot program began, we reported on a number of complaints from accidents to narrowed intersections, but the city hasn't said if they're actually working. If they are getting loose and people are moving them, that's dangerous. 